Hi and welcome back to another Amazon selling video. My name is Nikki Kirk and I am in the midst of Q4 retail arbitrage sourcing which I'm going to sell all this stuff on Amazon doing FBA because that's what I do. So I thought I would take you to this brand new opened last week Tuesday morning today because I don't think I've ever taken you to Tuesday morning and it is honestly one of my favorite stores to source during Q4 they have everything from like home stuff it's all like Christmas themed so beauty stuff they have really great grocery items and then of course they have toys so at Tuesday morning I can spend quite a lot of time scanning napkins they also have like craft stuff Tuesday morning is a great store to go if you are brand new because they have a lot of stuff like kitchen crafts um, paper napkins paper plates they have like slippers they have uh, journals and that kind of stuff all of that stuff is not gated so it's a great place to start as a new seller so let's head in and see how we do I haven't been to a Tuesday morning in a little while but this is a brand new one and I'm excited to see how it looks brand new hopefully it's fully stocked was super excited because they have all of the holiday stuff that I look for every year it's my favorite thing like I just clear the end cap and it's awesome because this stuff I sell every year it always does well it always has great ranks it always has great profit um, some of it's a little higher rank right now but I mean overall it was really awesome so I was super excited I'm gonna show you some of the screen grabs but they are gonna be blurred because I sell this every year and I do not wanna show it on YouTube. I am so sorry. I can tell you that people are already sharing some of it in the Bolo group. So anyways, so if you wanna join the Bolo group, you could do that. But right off the bat, I was super stoked. So that took a really long time just to scan all of that stuff. Um, even though I sell it every year, I do double check. So here's an example. You can see it's in home and it's pretty high rank. However, it is Q4. And also you can sell pretty high in the home category year round. So it's not super high. It's not like out of the question high already. And it's not even close to Christmas yet. So that's exciting. If you want my free rank guide, it is the ranks I follow all year round. It is on my website, all you do, or you can click the link below to sign up for it. You just sign up for my email newsletter and you will get the guide emailed right over to you. It's like a, I think it's a 10 page guide. It's got all kinds of free Amazon information. So FBA packing checklist, it has the RA calendar, when you should be buying certain stuff, when you should be sending it in, all that all year round. So that's just a couple of things. There's a lot of stuff in there if you wanna go ahead and grab it. Again, that's a free download that you can have just by signing up for my newsletter. So you always wanna make sure you're checking ranks no matter what. However, in Q4, you can go higher, like I said. So here are some of the ranks. I'm just gonna read them off. This is the guide from the Q4, Retail Arbitrage Q4 guide that I put out there. It's available also linked below. But anyways, here's the ranks. So typically in beauty and personal care, I will stay under 100,000, but for Q4, I go up to 135. For grocery, I go up to 150,000. For health and household, Hold, personal care health and personal care I'll go up to 200,000 kitchen and home again I will go up to honestly 300,000 is fine but on this guide I wrote 285 and then let's see what else lawn and patio I'll go up to 75,000 normally I try to stay like 35,000 and the reason I go up higher now is because of all the inflatables for Christmas so they will sell what other ones toys and games I usually try to stay 
130, 150, like 150 is my real cutoff. It's like really stretching it, but for Q4, you can go up to 200, 250. It's all in your comfort level, but it's pretty safe to say toys will sell a lot more. They sell year round, but they sell better during Q4. So I would say, I don't, what time is it? I got here around one, it's four. So I spent three hours in there. I would say most of my time was spent scanning holiday themed stuff. I got some harvest, like Thanksgiving type themed stuff. I got a bunch of Christmas stuff. And I take my time scanning because it is in there. You just have to search a little harder. So like you can search by scanning the front of the product. You can search by typing it in like you're looking, um, looking it up like on Amazon, like you're typing in what you want. Some of the stuff I know is on there. So like I took photos of some of it and I'm going to come back and get it. I'm going to do more research when I get home to find the listings because I'm pretty sure they're there, but I was just dying standing there trying to look them all up and I am not that far from here so I'll just come back and grab them once I look them up. There was some serious FOMO from people. It normally happens in home goods but like everyone in town I think this was like a week ago it opened so everyone is coming to check out the Tuesday morning. It's like they'd never seen one before. I've never seen so many people in there. I'm not sure if they were looking on the videos that I touched because I haven't edited it yet so I'm gonna can't wait to see if they are like looking at what the heck this chick's doing over here but so many people and all the old ladies this always happens they want to know like they're like interested in whatever I got like it's like FOMO they want to know what they're missing out on what is she over there buying all of that for and it's just interesting um sometimes they come back around it's really weird <laughs> anyway so that was happening in there but honestly I mean husbands and wives and men I've never seen so many men in a Tuesday morning it was crazy they do sell everything so like there's automotive aisles and everything but anyways that it, it's definitely the spot to be here so as always I try to remind you in every video that you always want to request approval just because it says you cannot sell it does not mean you cannot sell it go ahead and request approval if it does ask for an invoice then you'd have to get an invoice from a distributor or a supplier I have some distributors and suppliers that I have in my guide to help you get ungated for OT see topical toys games groceries um, brands like Star Wars Marvel Mattel Disney and then also premium brands like Adidas Nike Under Armour so if you want my help I have the guides but really it comes with an awesome community which is the best part but you can also get ungated in the app automatically called an auto approval auto one gate so that did happen with this baby item. It is here at Tuesday morning. It doesn't quite make enough profit for me, so I left it here at Tuesday morning, but you really should come to Tuesday morning if you are a new seller and you're getting everything because there's so much stuff here. Like, it's insane. They have literally every category, it feels like. So they have the baby stuff. They have the kitchen stuff. Here's some scissors I found in the kitchen aisle. This one does make a good profit. The rank's kind of high, but hey, it's Q4. It might be fine. Here are some slippers I found in the men's slipper aisle. Um, I didn't see any lady slippers, but I might not have gone down the aisle. I skipped the like um, bedding type aisles. I didn't go down those. They're harder to scan. They don't always have a UPC, but I did anyway. So no lady slippers, but they did have men's slippers. So there was one. And yeah, I gotta say Tuesday morning is one of my favorite stores. So if you don't have one by you, I am so sorry. But if it's like an hour, hour and a half drive, it might be worth. I spent... Oh, I think it's just about $600. The computer was going really slow, but I wanted to tell you that they do take tax exempt. So if you have your tax exempt card, resale certificate, you know, the little piece of paper that you get from the state that says you don't have to pay sales tax, definitely bring it into Tuesday morning because it saved me over $50 in tax, which means that's extra profit because I didn't have to add that into my cost of goods. So definitely you want to use that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see me source another store. I hope you come hang out in one of my groups or at the Bolo group. Or if you are brand new and you need help getting started on Amazon, I have a beginner FBA training course which walks you through step by step how to get started. And it also comes with an awesome community of sellers supporting each other as they start out and celebrating their successes. So thank you so much. I will see you back here for another Amazon selling video.